Hey, what's up, boxers? This is Zach Rizet with BuildBox. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make another 3D character. So I had another video previously where I broke down how to make this little Mohawk character and I gave away the character for free. I'm gonna show you how you can go ahead and make your own 3D character. I want you to watch how I troubleshoot and how I guess and check using the preview window. So let's go ahead and jump into this. Okay, so I just dropped in my character into my 3D 3D world and I dropped in the BB asset that I downloaded and I gave you from that 3D character video that I had before and that link to that video is in the description below. So let's go ahead and go into our 3D world and I just kind of want to show you the tools that are useful for designing your own character. Okay and then I'm gonna once I've shown you all the tools I'm not gonna make you watch me guess and check forever and ever because that's just boring so I'll speed up the last part of the video and then I'll give you the character. So first thing that would be really useful to to know is this little camera view over here okay so you turn on this little camera button here and then you can zoom in and out and you see how it's changing the view over here in the preview window it's really really nice to get a better view of your character and you can twist around and get a, a better angle if you want to see like for instance uh, in this character the eyes are bulging way out and it looks a little ridiculous I kind of designed that character like that on purpose because I was trying to make the character look scared and uh, like he was running away when he uh, when I originally made the character but I'm gonna make a new character and I'm not gonna have his eyes like that so it's kind of a nice uh, if but see but the thing is is you, if you don't have the camera uh, facing the right way if you look at it just straight on you can't really tell exactly that the eyes are bulging way out forward you can mostly see it once you turn it to the side and you can see like oh my gosh they're sticking way out so that's the sort of thing that's useful when you're looking at it is getting different angles all right so we're done with that let's take off the camera view and then right right now I'm going to just hit uh, I'm gonna select my spiky hair character that I made and I'm gonna hit uh, D on my keyboard and that is going to duplicate the character so the next thing I want to do is I want to take this duplicate spiky character let's name it something else so let's call it um, let's call it blue hair character I'm just gonna make this character have blue hair. That's what I'm gonna do for this guy. So let's drag him out into our scene. We'll have him join this other guy and then we'll start switching things up so that it's a little bit easier to mess around with. So let's go ahead, let's let's recenter these guys. Let's put them next to each other. And let's put them right about there. Let's take a look at the camera view. Okay, cool. Let's, I think that's pretty good. Let's get an angle so that we can see the, the eyes a little bit better. All right, awesome. We will refresh the preview. We can see both the characters. All right, now let's start making little changes. So first thing I'm gonna do, click on the blue hair character. Let's go to eyeball one. And let's see here, if I take this, so this is the X position, Y position, and Z position. So I believe I need to change the Z position to make it go in a little bit more. So I'm thinking if I make this number less, let's just do, let's do 85, let's do 80. Our negative 0.8 is really what I'm talking about, not 80, but negative 0.8. And then let's see if the eye, let's see here, eyeball one should be over here. Let's see if the eyeball moves. So let's refresh and then you can see, okay, cool. So the eye moved a little bit. And let's go ahead, let's zoom in on that character now. So I'm going to turn my camera on and we'll zoom a little bit. First, I wanna see what he looks like straight on, straight at the face. So let's see, okay, that looks all right. Let's, uh, let's go ahead, let's work with that. Let's do um, 80 on the other side as well, or 0.8 on the other side. I don't know why I keep saying 80. And okay, let's go ahead and refresh, cool. Let's take the pupils, let's dial those back a little bit. So negative 1.1 is gonna to be too far. Let's do negative one on the both of them. And let's see if that works. Now I have no idea whether or not this is gonna work. I'm just testing it out. Okay, that looks not half bad. Let's do the camera again. I think they're still sticking way out. You see, this is why you gotta get the different angles because they're just like sticking out way too far. So let's go ahead and bring them in a little bit. Let's go back to our blue hair character. And you know what, let's go ahead and command, I'm gonna hit Command S on my keyboard and go ahead and just save it real quick to my desktop. 
So we'll go call this blue hair character. Yeah, okay, cool. So we'll save that up real fast. All right, now let's take that pupil, let's bring it back again. Let's do negative 0.9 and then refresh. Okay, well that's way too small. Let's do 9.5. Let's go ahead and refresh. All right, there we go. That's a little bit more reasonable and you can kind of see the difference already. So let's bring the pupil, let's do, I think it was 9.5, negative 0.95. Let's refresh. Okay, that looks good. Let's go ahead and change the mouth around as well. So I have the mouth scale all wibbly wonky. Let's go ahead and just do a straight circle because I have it stretched out um, more so in the X direction. So let's go ahead and mess with that. All right, and let's recenter it a little bit. So I need to, let's go ahead and take it, get rid of the um, position, the X position here. And it, it should recenter it now. Okay, cool. And then let's dial it back. Let's go ahead and bring, bring it in some more, probably 0.8, might be too much, maybe more, negative 0.7, let's try that, and that looks interesting, okay, I don't know, I'm not too crazy about that, let's see if I can find something else, I'm not even crazy about the shape. I don't know. Let, let me mess around with it a little bit. Let's go ahead. Let's let's keep tweaking it a little bit. So I want to bring it. I, I think he's like open too wide. I just like the mouth looks off to me. Something like that is a little bit a little bit better for me. Let's see here. I kind of want to get this angle. Let's go even wider on the. Um, let's go wider on the Z maybe. Or no, let's scale it up on the X. Let's go wider on the X. That's almost like he's smiling. I wonder if I bring it uh, out even a little bit more, if I, it'll kind of create a smile. All right, so this video is already about seven minutes long, so I think you you all get the point. The, well, the whole idea here is you need to do a lot of guess and check. So you use the preview window, you use the camera, and you switch the position, rotation, and scale. So I'm gonna go ahead and just speed up the rest of this video so you can see me develop out this rest of the character, and then I will give you this character so that you can use it. <laughs> All right, so that took me about 20 minutes or so. So I'm gonna exit out of my camera view here. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to right click this blue hair character and I'm going to select export asset. And I'll go ahead and just export them out to my desktop again. And then let's go ahead and use them in another game that I'm making right now. So blue hair character, and then let's go ahead and save them and we'll drop them in and use them as the main character for this other game and test them out. All right, let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so this is a Geometry Dash style game that I made in an earlier video and I'm trying out the character now. So let's go ahead and test them out. I'm just gonna test the flipping. The circle character is probably not the best idea because a lot of times the character lands on his face. Um, you can see he does a full flip and that's pretty cool. Um, you can definitely use this character for other games as well. Um, this one is probably not the best. Let's see if I can make him land on his face. Oh no, he's standing upright. He wants to stand upright. Hey, there he is. He's on his back. But anyways, you can probably find a better uh, game for this character. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you thought this video was useful. Uh, keep an eye out for more videos coming later this week. And as always, keep unboxing.